sixth fastest, Ochoa. For this Derby qualifier, an additional milestone could be waiting at the finish line. The record $938,000 winner share would make Ochoa the all-time earnings leader at over $2.5 million. It would also solidify the All-American as his own private playground, having dominated the 2011 Futurity. Trainer Sleepy Gobreth, a man of notoriously few words, gave us a full day's supply on Ochoa's remarkable career. Well, we didn't, we didn't, what you'd say, over race this horse last year. He just had four starts, and uh, uh, now I'm really glad that's all we, we tried to get out of him, because he seems to be doing very well now. But Ochoa's spot in the Derby was far from secure as he lined up in the eighth trial in changing weather. They're running. Off slow, TF featured effort way back. Ochoa came out good today. Pandorum going with him. Toward the inside is uh, Sure Shot B along with Abracadabra. And it's Ochoa in front. Ch Ochoa. Then Jess Cuervo and Pandorum battling for second. Ochoa's going to win. Ochoa's time only ranked sixth, but his point was well taken. He and regular rider Roy Baldiez will take some beating. The gelding by Trey Sace out of Stoley's Fortune is, of course, Quarter Horse Racing's most famous sale repo. He was retained for $25,000 by breeder Johnny Jones, who then sold an interest to friends Doug Benson and Monty Cluck. Now it's back to Ochoa's pre-race routine, including visits from equine physio massage guru Thumper Jones. Well, we just stayed on top of Ochoa and made sure that he was very happy going into the races. and. Um, he's just such an unbelievable horse, and Sleepy's done such a great job with him. Uh, there really isn't too much for me to do, but we just got to check everything to make sure that it's green light when it's time to go. Now it's time to go for the all-time record. No one thought that the Wind Circle crowd could get any bigger than last year. But if he wins the Derby, maybe Ochoa should charge admission.